as both AMD and Nvidia are done unveiling the flagship GPUs, it has become quite common to quickly compare the best performing RX 7000 series card with the best performing RTX 40 series cards. But AMD wants to make one thing crystal clear. Their flagship RX 7900 XTX is a direct competitor to the RTX 4080 instead of the 4090. And judging by the price and performance difference between the RX 7900 XTX and RTX 4090, it does make sense. Regardless, in this video, we will be comparing the RX 7900 XTX with the RTX 4080 to help you decide which one should you settle for. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Launched on October 12, the RTX 4090 has an MSRP of $1599, which is 60% more than the flagship AMD RX 7900 XTX at $999. And if you look at the MSRP of RTX 4080 16GB, it's priced around $1199, which puts it in a closer spot to the RX 7900 XTX. And with that being said, let's go through the spec breakdown for both the RX 7900 and RTX 4080. Starting with the RTX 4080, it packs 16GB of GDDR6X memory with a base clock speed of 2.21GHz that can be boosted up to 2.51GHz. With 9728 CUDA and 113 ray tracing cores, this graphics card performs as beefy as it looks. Talking about performance, this card can pull off as much as 147 frames per second in Flight Simulator at 4K resolution. The number seems higher in other graphics demanding games such as A Plague Tale and F1 2022 as well, given it can pull off above 100 frames per second in both titles. This much of a performance costs around 320 watts of power draw and Nvidia recommends having at least a 750 watt power supply unit. While the RX 7900 XTX is yet to be launched, we already have the specs for it. RX 7900 XTX is based on the RDNA3 architecture with about 96 compute units and 24 gigs of GDDR6 memory on a 384-bit memory bus. The base frequency for this card starts at 1.9 GHz with the boosted clock frequency being up to 2.5 GHz. For ray tracing, we have about 96 RT cores on this thing which is quite impressive judging by the price range it's coming from. AMD recommends having an 800 watt power supply for this one to be in a safe spot. But what really caught our eyes about the RX 7900 XTX is the inclusion of DisplayPort 2.1 standard which is lacking on the Nvidia RTX counterpart. With this move alone, AMD has made itself stand out and made its card ready for the next gen high refresh rate monitors. FSR 2.1 is also arriving with this card, so we're expecting to see some juicy frame counts from this one in popular AAA games. Whether it's the RX 7900 XTX or the RTX 4080, both AMD and Nvidia are facing backlash from the gaming community because of their expensive offerings. Seems like both these brands are still trying to enjoy the increased profit margins that were triggered by the crypto boom. Regardless, from a comparative perspective, AMD cards, specifically the RX 7900 XTX, are looking pretty good in terms of price to performance ratio. But whether it can one-up the RTX 4080 is too soon to speculate given the card isn't even out yet. We will be back again with more updates and benchmarks on the RX 7900 XTX as soon as it hits the shelves. So. That was all about the RX 7900 XTX versus RTX 4080 debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.